G'day, g'day. I'm going to show you one of my family's favourite things to eat, a really simple, really yummy fried rice. So the way to start with the fried rice is to cook your rice. Uh, what I've done is cook it off and it's cooling on a tray. If you don't have time for that, don't worry, you might get a bit of a different result, but if you can cool it off, it works really, really nicely, it dries out nicely. So the way I cook rice is in a rice cooker, just a microwave job that you can get from the supermarket. Two cups of rice, and for fried rice you want long grain rice, so um, jasmine rice, or if you have basmati rice at home, or just long grain rice, that's fine. Two cups of rice, three cups of water, 18 minutes on high in the microwave, and Bob's your uncle. Otherwise you can cook it on the stove, uh, using the absorption method, or you can use a rice cooker, or however you cook your rice is fine. Cool it down, and that's ready to go. And then we're just gonna make up all the beautiful yummy things that go into it to make it a delicious meal. So the first thing I'm going to do is fry up some bacon. Um, to get the rind off a of bacon, I just like to pinch it and then peel it like that. That way you're leaving the fat attached to the meat, which is part of what makes your dish beautiful. I always chuck the rind in the pan while it's heating up because you never know who's gonna wander through the kitchen and want a little snack. Now I'll point out that this is not necessarily your fully authentic fried rice, it's kind of the fried rice that you might have had when you were a kid at the Chinese restaurant that you fell in love with, with all the yummy bits in it. So, slice up your bacon. So usually with your full rashers of bacon, there's enough fat in the bacon for it to render out and fry. If you're using the, just the eye end of the bacon, don't do that. Uh, try the, the rasher end of the bacon, it's got the fat, makes it delicious. It should fry off on its own. And while you're doing that for the next two or three minutes, you're just gonna slice up your onions and throw that in with the bacon. So you just add that to the bacon in the pan. If you need a little bit more oil, put some in. You'll know if you need more oil because it's kind of it'll go dry and be sort of catching on the bottom of the pan. But hopefully your bacon's got enough fat to make all of that fry beautifully. And then we're just going to add a couple of cloves of garlic. If you've got ginger in the fridge or any other kinds of herbs or any kind of veggies that you want to chop finely and put through this, you absolutely can. So the way I make this now is a bit of a side dish. If you want to make it into a main, Throw through some stir fried chicken, a bit of barbecued pork that you buy from the deli, or anything that you like. Call it special fried rice and that's dinner. Otherwise this is a beautiful side with whatever your favourite stir fry is. Into the pan. What I want to do is put that beautiful bacon, onion, garlic mixture into a big bowl because all the extra little bits and pieces are going to go into this bowl together. so that we can mix that all together with the rice. Sort of adding to this is some corn kernels. You can cook up fresh corn if you like, or if you have that in the fridge and slice the, the kernels off. Otherwise, beautiful in there. And some frozen baby peas, just lightly defrosted and chucked in through that nice hot bacon mixture. And then all of that's ready to receive the rest of the goodness that we're going to cook. So the next thing I'm going to cook is the omelette. So in a beautiful fried rice, you've got that lovely thin sliced egg through it. It's not hard to make. A couple of eggs, and I'm just going to add a little dash of water to that to loosen it up. If you're making a breakfast omelette, you would add a little bit of milk or a little bit of cream. But we don't use dairy in fried rice, so just a little bit of water. Whisk it up like that. And turn that pan back on. And we want a little bit of oil, but not too much. So we don't want the egg to stick, but we also need it to stick enough so that it makes an omelette, not just a blob of egg. So we're just in the pan that we cooked the bacon in. You don't need to clean it. Just a little splash of oil, spread it around. And then you're gonna pour in about a half of your egg and water mixture. 
about a half, and spread that round the pan so it makes a nice thin omelette. And that'll cook very, very quickly. So you'll see it start to set. And all you need to do is remove it, roll it. and lift it out onto your board, ready to cut. All right, so that now I've cooked those beautiful thin omelettes, I'm just gonna slice those up and put them in with all the other yummy bits for the fried rice. Into our mixture. All right, the next job is literally to fry the rice. For this, you'll need a bit of oil, some soy sauce, and some Chinese five spice for a bit of flavor. And of course, your cooled, cooked rice. A little bit of oil, obviously we're frying it. And then you're gonna throw in your rice. I'm gonna say about a third of that if you've done a two cup batch and you've got a nice big pan like this. If you've got a smaller pan, do a smaller amount of rice. So it needs to sizzle like that. Have your pan nice and hot. Make sure all that rice gets a little bit of oil on it. And you're gonna to add to that a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of Chinese five spice. Now the amount of soy sauce you'll add will vary depending on what you're using. If you're using a beautiful light soy sauce, it's very delicate, you might need some more. This is a very dark soy sauce, so you probably need some less. It's a case of just put it in, taste it. But when you pour it in, this gives you a beautiful sizzle. So about a teaspoon there. Good pinch of Chinese five spice. When I say a good pinch, don't go overboard because you don't want it to overwhelm everything else. But it does add a really lovely fragrance to your fried rice. So stir it around so that all that soy sauce is distributed, that all the rice gets a little turn on the hot surface of the pan. I'm doing it in a flat, non-stick, heavy based pan because I think that most people have these at home. Um, if you do have a really beautiful thin wok that you've got seasoned and you use all the time, then by all means use that. That'll give you the most authentic result. This, however, is just a nice, easy way to do a midweek fried rice. Okay, so once you've spread that all around, you're going to tip that into your bowl of goodies that you've prepared earlier. Should slide right out because of your non-stick pan. And away you go again with the next batch of rice. Once your rice is done, you're gonna mix it all together with the beautiful things you've cooked earlier. And there you have a really yummy fried rice. Okay, so that's a dish that's less than half of what I just cooked. You can serve this as a side dish to a Chinese banquet. You can serve this as your main meal. And the best news is that it freezes really well. So just pop it in the freezer in an airtight container, make sure you label it and it reheats beautifully. So there you go, a nice and easy fried rice for your dinner.